Good morning, sinners and insomniacs. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. I played a little bit off stream, but not much. So I'm not much further ahead than when you last saw me. Actually, where we just left off, um, where, where I stopped was I was just about to camp. Because I'm beat up and I need to rest. So I've never camped before. I'm trying to see if I can do this right. Just looking around the map here. Oh, one thing I want to check. I got this tiara or crown or whatever that gives me nature skill plus one. I'm trying to. I want to see who has the best nature skill because it ain't my bard. At least I don't think it is. Nope, it's Gale. I hesitate to give Gale anything magic because he tends to eat them. Mm, I applaud your taste. Can I rest and check menus? Check them for what? Uh, so that's not camping. That's just me in my... in my casual clothes. Let's try again. Oh, go to bed, it says. Okay. End the day and restore hit points and spell slots to fill your rest. You must use enough camp supplies. There we go. We ate enough paella and fruits to, to last the night. You don't sleep well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong. Or maybe you just get lucky. Shit. Shit is right, buddy. At least buy me dinner no, first. It's not what it looks like. I swear. I I wasn't gonna hurt you. I I just needed well blood. There in the dim firelight you see him for what he really is. A vampire, a slave to sanguine hunger. Pick up a steak and lunge at the monster. I'm tempted, believe me, I'm fucking tempted. My only my only problem is I don't know if I could take him. <laughs> I've never killed anyone. Well, not the food. I feed on animals, boars, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. 
It's not enough. Not if I have to fight. I feel so... weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer. Fight better. Please. A strange sensation... Hey, he did bite me! And your companion's mind unfolds. He bit me. Secrets half revealed. Look at that. That son of a bitch. I don't care how much you need. You're not drinking my blood. No. No, of course. Silly of me to even ask. I'll go and find something on four legs to eat, I suppose. See you in the morning. No, leave and never return. Mmm. Mmm. I kind of want him gone. I could never trust this guy. In character, I would never trust this dude. No, I don't want I don't trust him. You toss me aside over this. Fine. See how far you get without me. Your companion has permanently left the party. You know what? Good. So, the pale one is gone. It's for the better, given his palate. He wasn't the worst company, bloodlust aside. Part of me will miss him. Need I remind you that he tried to open one of our necks like a Thelian Red? I did not bring this danger into our camp. Perhaps whoever did should be more careful in future. No, we won't. From now on, we'll only make new, interesting mistakes. Item received. Backpack. At least he left all his stuff. Alright, well, let's make a save with a Starion gun. Let's see, how do I get out of here now? Um, leave camp. Wait. Okay. Oh wait, there's Dog. Where's my talk to animal spell? Jam. What's up for discussion? Hope you're keeping well, friend. Master, friend, I stayed with him until, until I knew he was gone. I'll never forget him, but I'm glad to have met you. Pet the dog.
Yay! Alright, now we can leave. Where was I going? Save the goblin Saza, reach the goblin camp. This place has been smashed. Get over there! Surround them like! You've spotted us! Good! It's like they say, no fun in skewing a pig what doesn't know he's cooked! There'll be no skewering happening here. Now let me pass. We got you surrounded. Here's how this goes. You take one step further, and we'll fill your front with arrows. Or you turn around, and your backside gets the same treatment. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. Hmm. <laughs> Just let me buy. I could use my illithid thing. With advantage. See, now, the way I'm role-playing this is that I personally, were this, were this to happen to my character, would resist using the Illithid powers at every opportunity. I would not try to encourage this thing at all, because I, feel like I, I feel like if I give in to the powers, it's going to take root. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take hold of me. It'll be harder to get rid of it. So if I try to avoid using it as much as possible, that might help me out. I don't know if that's going to happen here, but I would resist using it whenever possible. Charlatan just passing through Tandem is inspired. Well, I'm going to save after that. Believe that. Okay, discovered a waypoint. Goblin Sharp Eye, Goblin Tracker, Shabby Wooden Doors. I was kind of hoping that Goblin I freed would uh, vouch for me on the way in, but she has not. And I don't want to go kicking over anyone's possessions. Might trigger the entire village. I get the feeling we're going to be fighting our way out of here one way or the other anyway. Right. 
check the map. Might want to head to the left. Less you like trash. Then keep looking. Everything here is ours. Bagger off. Skeleton. Okay, that's the way out of town. Extreme danger ahead. This is way over my counter level here. Evening, boys. No chicken. Tastes like fish. Gentlemen, contain yourselves. This quarrel sells our feast. Besides, tastes like pork. And what surprise is this? Brothers, look here. I have eyed yet another prize. Fortune favors our bellies. He's lump. He's lump. He's lump. Be you friend or food. The mark is her measure. Show is the brand of the absolute. You're quite eloquent for an ogre. I bear no such brand, or I'll do you one better. I'm one of the chosen's chosen. I'm one of the absolute's chosen disciples. No pressure. Woohoo! Indeed. How regrettable that your meat must go unsavored. Food? Food? Not food. Friend. I notice you don't bear a brand of your own. I've no use for the absolute or any god. I follow two masters only gluttony and greed. The goblins understand my appetites, they sate my hunger for gold, and the rest sate my hunger for meat. Boss Goblin give gold. 
We check brand. Good deal. No talk. Forget goblins, you should be fighting for me. I've seen few other ogres in these parts. The plan, if that failed, run. It certainly wasn't beat him up. We follow the scents of blood and gold to all lands fertile, friend. And this land proves particularly fruitful. I'm going to leave now. Alas, not so much as a nibble. Food? No, not food. Oh, I could drop the ceiling on him if I wanted to. Clearly all this handbill has managed to maintain its bold print over time. Nothing of interest. Seems legit. Bolo's Guide to Baldur's Gate. I wish they wouldn't repeat their dialogue over and over like that. Dig it! Oh, they won't like it if I uh, open it up, will they? Well... Oh, there's a little hopscotch drawn on the ground there. Huh. Haven't seen that game in years. Mugwort. Don't know what this is for yet, but I've been collecting plants as I see them. Ooh, will I get jumped if I raid the beehive? I'm too scared to, to poke the beehive. I'm afraid I'm going to get hit. Or attacked, rather.
this place looks hostile. I sure hope so. Well, look what the rat dragged in. Can it? I know something Ragslin will want to hear. Yeah? What's that? I've been in some druid's grove. This one's spring me. Now move over so I can tell Ragslin myself. Hold on. Where are the raiders? Dead. Every last one. Ragslin's drow friend won't be happy to hear that. She'll be happy enough when I tell her where them lubies is holding up. Let me through. Hold on now. Is it true what Saz says? You helped her escape that grove. Shrug and say nothing. The quiet type, eh? Good. Keep out of trouble, or you and Saz will get it. That's enough out of you. Come on. Gotta let the drown know where them looters is. We'll be heroes. This place crawls. These big folks could guard the place themselves. Let us off the hook. Where did she go? She ran off too quick. Stop fidget. Come, call please from the bloody walls. More line to you gave them. She ran off to the north and she ran a long way. Brains. Nope, I haven't. And I have not used it on others. And turned against you. Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape. Nothingness in every direction. Then there are three figures before you. An armored male elf, exuding power and command. A handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile. And a pale young woman with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the prison, and you will be worthy to stand beside them in my presence. Mm hmm Roll for initiative. You feel energy pulsing from the artifact, lifting the pain from you, pushing the voice away. My power grows. My forces. What did you do? Don't give me that look. I don't know what just happened any more than you do. We should keep going. The voice is gone. Muted by this... This gith relic. Why does a half-elf carry it?
That power, is that what happens to others when we use that parasite on them? Perhaps. But whatever it was, I don't want to experience it again. Hold on, that artifact seemed to stop the voice. What is it? I don't know. Not exactly. All I know is it's important I get it back to Baldur's Gate. At any cost. There must be more to it. I need you to level with me. I... I am a servant of Shah. My home is a secret cloister in Baldur's Gate. I need to bring that artifact back there. No matter what, I can't tell you any more. This mission required utmost secrecy. We all submitted to having our memories suppressed so that we couldn't betray Shah's confidence. If I reach my contact in the city, I'll have my memories restored. Until then, I have to guard the artifact with my life. There, you have the truth, for all it's worth. Let's continue. You worship Shah? Blimey. She and my beloved Mistra are not exactly friends. Your faith is your own concern, not mine. Thank you for sharing. No need to thank me. This is out of pure necessity. Pure desperation, in fact. There's nothing more I can tell you. All I remember is that I have to get back to my contact in the city. Okay. I know those symbols. It's Yankee room. Ancient as Vlacketh herself. You stole that from my people. Yes. And a lot of my people died in the process. I won't fail them. Not after what I saw your kind do to them. A powerful artifact indeed to have caught the attention of so many. Not least the absolute itself. The three figures in the vision. The chosen are searching for it. With the cultists' aid, it will not be long before they find it. Before they find you. You have evaded them so far, thanks, it seems, to the artifact itself. But how long can such protection last? Shadowheart has made her position clear. She will see that it is taken to its destination. At any cost. No doubt the Githyanki will seek to reclaim that which is theirs. But you still do not know what it even is. Keep the thing safe, seems we'll need it. Trust me, I'll guard it with my life. Let's keep going. That was quite the scene. Something jingling in your pocket. Looking to spend it. Quite the trove. How'd you get your hands on all this? Nicked him off the dead, didn't I? Swires these shoes. Jump distance is increased by 1.5 meters. Ooh, nice. This guy's got some good stuff. Goblin kind will tease you and frolic you and red it. Got wing. His name is Draw Ragnar. His voice absolute. Tis trouble to harm you and grow. What's my position on Shadowheart? Of course she's being shady. She worships Shar. A new age is dawning with goblins and trust. Mountains great mortals all kinders to quake. Gloves of archery. Oh, 
The Whispering Promise. Sorry if I'm quiet, I'm reading all these items. The Whispering Promise. When you heal a creature, you gain a 1d4 bonus to attack rolls and saving throws for two turns. That guy singing in the background is just slaying me. were many. Goblin kind had reduced them to cowering filfenny. So raise it, your goblets, and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin, the true soul, had led you gallant. You're just making up words. Hard performance continue rhyming. For a soul's not been truer than the raglan named Drawer. I heard Ragslin cast shadows that are 20 leagues wide. Uh oh. You, move on! Do as she says, now. <clears throat> now, where was I? Huh? Wait a tick, that a friend of yours? Oops, certainly not. What are you doing? I'm busy here. You lying. To you? Never. Come, let's continue our ballad. <coughs> uh, draw Ragslin, uh, draw Ragslin. Uh, Get him! Uh, um, uh, I am a draw Ragslin. Um, um, Tumptuous. Uh, Draw Rexlin! Uh, Running out of words! You broke him! Wait, wait! Draw Rexlin! We pay! We. Come on, pigeon! Back to your cage! Now, oh, look what you've done! Come on! Of course, oh, my name's Gribber! Idiot! Reckon it can fly? Right. Yes. Not me. No. Too fat. Dragons is fat and they fly by. You lot spend more booze up. You going on the next 
Figures. The one time I have to go barding and I roll a one. Brought to you by the Booze Council. Hey, hey! You ain't rounding me up for no way. No way. I'm drinking. Good for you. Yeah, is to the absolute. I wish I could say I had a plan. I do not. Can't help just now, bear with me, please. Of course. I hate for you to think me impatient or ungrateful. I shall persevere. But now. Oh, no, I. I want the well start singing. We'll know who sent them. I. My people. Is there for the drow, I do. My ass. What's a true soul want with any mate of yours? Private business, that is. Raiding business. But if anyone wants a piss pot guarded, we'll call. Just get your friend branded proper. Right, Sazza? Got better things to do than. No, you don't. Come on, then. Bloody racket. Oh, this is gonna be one hell of a fight on the way out of here. Let's not talk to the person with the branding iron. Are you ready for the absolute mark on your flesh? Yeah. And then I'll hear her voice. Get too feeble. Her voice is a black. Actually, it looks like that's exactly who I have to talk to. Great. Now here's somebody special. 
The Absolute has touched you, hasn't she? Priestess Gut needs to touch you too. Hold out your arm so I can mark your flesh. I assume this mark has a purpose. Shows our devotion to the Absolute. These maggots see how strong we are with her guidance. Whole camp will be branded soon, and you should be too. You ready? Brace yourself. This'll sting. Actually, I'd rather not go through with Maybe this. Maybe you don't need it. After all, you're special, ain't ya? Like me. She probes your mind, tangling your thoughts with hers. A familiar sensation. She too carries a power. Darkness seems to swallow the temple, leaving you with a vision of the goblin priestess receiving instruction from a handsome young man, one of the chosen. The vision dissolves away. You stand before the goblin priestess in the temple once again. Push deeper into her mind or sever the connection. Her faith floods into you, a tide of shuddering ecstasy. Her tadpole nestles within that mania, secure, hidden. I feel you in there, digging around. Works both ways. And I saw some weird shadows swimming around in your head just now. Maybe I can help with that. Us true souls gotta look out for one another. Do you think you can fix whatever's causing those shadows? With the Absolute's will, I can fix anything. Let's deal with this in my chapel. It's private. Don't want this lot interfering with true soul business. Yeah, I broke my rule. I actually used the... I used the tadpole's power. Here we go. Oi, come here. Are you ready to clear your head? What exactly are you going to do? Whatever the absolute tells me to. Don't worry. She loves you. I can tell. Okay. Don't want a crowd of gawpers. Everybody else needs to leave. Gail, you're really padding your part here, man. I know you're not feeling well, but... Whatever comes, I'm ready. I shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. to clear your head smart all you need to do is open yourself to the absolute and I'll do the rest don't want anyone peeping on private matters so there we go secret and safe well secret psionic feelers creep across your mind like a Pockets fingers seeking flaws in fabric. Attack. I should attack. Sifting deeper, she sees the mind flare holding a wriggling tadpole to your eye. And then the vision lurches. And you are looking through her eyes. 
as a tadpole squirms into her skull. Helps! We need to fish that thing out before it eats any important parts of your brain. Pretty sure one of those parasites is squirming in your head, too. No. It's messing with your brain. You're seeing things, probably hearing voices, too, yeah? Then get it out of me. Oh, God. How is this going to work? Don't you worry. I've got everything I need to fix you. Might get a bit messy, though. What exactly does your plan involve? I'm guessing it involves an ice pick. Or whatever passes for an ice pick in this place. I'm guessing you don't get much ice around here. I'm guessing it's just a knife. It involves you putting your trust in the absolute. Simple. Give me a little time to prepare. Time's the one thing you don't have. We gotta get this thing out now. Now I'm just curious to see where this goes. You won't regret this. Being a true soul, you know the absolute don't like to touch nothing unclean. So drink this. It'll purify ya. You recognize telltale flecks of werejackal blood. It's a potion of sleep. That'll put me to sleep. Are you trying to trick me? Deceiving nobody. I'm trying to help. I'm not drinking that. I guess we're doing this the hard way then. My brain. Sweet dreams. Wakey, wakey. Don't bother struggling. You ain't going nowhere. The Absolute wants to know all about that critter in your head. So start talking. You're out of luck. I don't know any more about it than you do. Liar! We've both seen the monster that put it there, and I know what happens next. You're infected. It's going to happen to you, too. Stop trying to confuse me. You're a liar. Everything's clear since the Absolute chose me. You're the one that's broken. Do you even know who you are anymore? Nothing's changed. I'm in control. Maybe that's what the creature wants you to think. It's gonna start eating your flesh too, changing you. And eventually your skull will split and you'll cough up a mess of tentacles. Then stop this. Heal me. Stop it! Why would I want to do that? I'm going to keep you here so I can see every gory detail and hear every whimper and scream. If I do transform, you'll be my first meal. Keep quiet. I'll keep quiet. You're going to be my new pet. A ferocious squiddy. All for myself. You test the weight of the chains, looking for weak points. Strength is not my strong suit. Dislocate your wrist and wriggle free. This isn't gonna work. Wonder if I should even try it, if I'm just gonna hurt myself. I'm not even gonna try. Because I'm not trained in, well.
Boom! You slip free of the chains. Guess we're making a new save file. Thank God they let me keep my loot. And all my stuff. Uh, let's see, nothing in here. Toughness. You broke free. You die. That was unlucky. Cause there is no way I'm winning this fight. I'm going to reload. I didn't know that was going to happen. There was no way I'm going to win that fight. How do you know that? And I'm out. Coup de grade. I just got coup de grade.
what is there to do up here? You broke free? Figures. You die. That works in every other game I've ever played. Let's see what this does. There you guys are. All right, so what do I do? This did not go well. I'm gonna have to kill my way out of here, aren't I? Problem is, this place is actually probably too tough for me. Don't know what to do. Um, This is a tough fight. 75 points. Oh, God. Thank you, Tigor. Ooh, the game does not pause. When you're on the... When you're on the pause screen. <laughs> Whatever. I don't even know what you call it. The menu screen. They're both level four. This is too tough for me. So I guess knowing that, we're not going to fight. Hmm. 
that the jingle of coin I hear? You've timed it well, my friend. Already turned quite the profit today, so I'm feeling generous. You recognize the crest she bears, the winged serpent of the Zentarim. You're no normal trader, are you? You're part of the Black Network. Half right, sharp eyes. A Zen is a normal trader. Just a matter of what's for sale. Weapons and other exotic goods, true enough. But most of all, we offer discretion. No judgment, no right and wrong, just good deals and bad. That problem for you? What business do you have in a goblin camp? You're joking. Goblins sell the best prisoners. Cheap, quiet, and eager to be elsewhere. Till this crowd converted and started sending their captives to Moonrise Towers, at least. No complaints, mate. I just sold enough smoke powder to cover the loss ten times over. What do you know about Moonrise Towers? All I need to. There's an awful lot of folk flowing that way. And coin is sure to follow. Might have to find my faith and see this absolute for myself, eh? Still some deals to be done here, though. You want to trade or what? She is loaded. crossbow plus one it's a nice crossbow hmm I like it. Okay. Wow, okay, the goblins are not alerted. I thought for sure I'd set them off. These boots have seen everything. You don't have permission to be here. You're about to be ejected. Okay, I'm leaving. You've set foot in a restricted area. A swift exit, mate. go rescue volo 
Speak to Saza and the Drow. hell is that? Hi! Busy? Greetings, child. I've met few aside from goblins here. Ah, are you also here to assist with the prisoner? What prisoner? The gentleman being held next door. My acquaintance is working on him, I believe. While I was thrilled to be invited here, I must confess, I find the goblins and their methods crude and primitive. Pain without purpose is a terrible thing. Wouldn't you agree? Boy, I'm glad I decided to just waltz in here. Exactly. Pain is an intimate thing. It should be delivered with a loving and measured hand. But trying to discuss such subtleties with these creatures is simply... Forgive me, but that look in your eyes, something terrible has happened to you. Clever man, how'd you know? Because I see those same eyes when I look in the mirror. Dear one, we've all suffered in these dark times. It is little wonder you bear scars of pain and anguish. Please, let me alleviate this pain. And how would you do that? As the Maiden of Pain, the goddess Loviata teaches us through penance, administered by my skilled hand. My work can grant peace and serenity, the likes of which few experience. It will be worth it. I promise. You seem trustworthy. Go ahead. I'm sure you're in need of a little penance. <laughs> I like that little grimace that I gave her. Oh, I have something exquisite in mind. Will you join my party? Both Loviata and I are interested in how you handle pain, dear one. And should you delight her, you will most assuredly receive her most gracious blessing. Trust me. Simply face the wall, and we can begin. Um... Face the wall, and let us begin, dear one. Yeah, we need to establish a safe word here. Oh, God. Yes, this will do nicely. Ow! The pain you suffer will cleanse you. Do not fight it.
her foreman's yelp loudly and dramatically beg for mercy. Constitution, try to hold back your cries. Do not keep quiet, dear one. Let me hear you. Don't wear him out entirely, priest. I might have use for him yet. Ow! Do not keep quiet, dear child. Embrace it. Bard, make a show of screaming at the top of your lungs. Your voice sounds so sweet, dear one. Keep going. Your voice sounds so sweet, dear one. Keep going. What have I agreed to? Sweet child, while I enjoyed that, I'm afraid your reaction was lacking. To gain the Vietar's favor, every single strike must be met with an honest cry of pain, or perhaps a touch of begging. Nevertheless, thank you. And I pray you've learned from today's little lesson. Your world has strange customs. Don't group me with the likes of them. True. You wouldn't have the grit. Can't cast spells not proficient with equipped armor. What the hell? Says who? Oh, it's heavy armor. Shit. That would explain a few things. Yankee half plates. 15, 16. I think her AC is going to be the same with either one. Yeah, it's the same. That was an odd encounter. So I see. Do you have plans for this pigeon? Keep him safe. Listen to him coo. Till I get hungry or some such. What's it to ya?
Your pet is actually a rather famous writer. Then catch one on your own. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. How much do you want for him? He looks weak, weak sick even. He won't last long in there. a familiar face in such a precarious setting. I guarantee the story of your daring rescue of my person will live on for eons. Remember my name when you're crediting the story's author. It's Tandem. That will sound ridiculous. But fine, if you insist, as much as it pains me to cede creative control. Once I've written you into one of my books, there won't be a tavern in Feru you can enter without receiving a hero's welcome. We mustn't tarry, but I'd hate for our friendship to end here. Please, won't you meet me once we've both slipped the goblin yoke? Slip the yoke? How do you intend to do that exactly? An invisibility potion, my friend. A bit less refined than your mendacious method, but by God, it'll do the trick. Fine mess you landed yourself in. How'd you get caught? Why, by design, my friend. How better to learn the ways of a people than to live among them? I dare say the experiment has proven most fruitful, too. I'll be happy to share my findings once we've found somewhere safe to parley. Go to my camp. We'll talk there once we're safe. Smashing! Soon, my friend. Soon we can share the flagon of something liquid and a tale of daring do. I'll slip away when the coast is clear. See you soon, my friend. I simply can't wait to pick your brain! And off he goes. Alright, so where's that drow? According to the map, the drow is this way. turns suddenly sweet through the rat's nose. Blood smell. Life smell. Not like the great hollow below, which smells only of death. Here we go. Can't you save those eyes? Again... Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Wish I got a turn in the fair. Lucky. I 
I don't think the drow is here. Go back. Let's see. Try again. Uh, there's nothing in here at all, except for a dead elf in the wall. Here goes nothing. Decaying legs protrude from the hole. A failed escape, it seems. Let's see, does anyone have? Investigation. What am I to do? You have my attention. Gail has it. Oh, action, not reaction. Let me work my magic. Decaying legs protrude from the hole. A failed escape, it seems. mid-dig and suffocated him. A crooked heart is embroidered on his left shoe. The body comes loose, revealing a tunnel. Perhaps you can escape where he failed.
Oh, I don't like this. Stop them! Free me! Again! Again! Make it squeal again! What the hells are you doing? We're juicing it up! The beast came in here with those robbers, killed Dink and Mince too! Boss is thinking of serving it to the wargs. We made it squeal. Look, look, you'll see. Give me that rock. I'll show you. Leave him alone. What are you? Get lost if you can't stand a bit of rough housing. Release me. Get rid of them. Hmm. Hmm. A bit of a moral conflict here. Conjured spider. Holy crap! This place is, uh, out of my league. I'm not leveled up enough for this yet. I've got to back out of this. I've got to retreat out of this dungeon entirely. This is nuts. Time to press ahead. Poor 
lad. I could give you peace, you know. But no. You gotta keep silent, don't you? Where do they flee to, you stubborn rat? Please, stop! Here to see your friend, have ya? Come and join him if you like. Say we'll take over. His work is sloppy. He'll kill the prisoner too quickly. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Go have yourselves a drink. Your boss sent me to relieve you. Ooh. It's gonna be a tough sell. I need a 13. That is not a 13. Feast or famine with these dice rolls. Came for the night song, where is it? Somewhere underneath the temple. There's a hidden passage. But Brian had instructions, but the goblins got him. They they, they said they eat him. Please, please. These shackles. I I don't want to die. One more question. What happened to the druid? That's what I'm looking for, is the head druid. Halsin. I, I don't know. He, he, he changed into a bear. But I lost sight of him. I don't know if he's still alive. That's all I know. P please, get me out of here. Th thank you. Thank you so much. And this alerts every goblin in the base. The lock clicks and opens. Thank you. I, I, I better go before they catch us. I should be able to make it to the grove on my own. Should you? They need to know they're in danger. I don't know. The boss didn't say. He just said some wizard called Laroakan would reward us if we found it. That's all. The, the grove. To the east. They wanted to know where we came from. kill everyone please I need to warn them well good luck holy crap he did find a way out Hang on. 
This I gotta see for myself. And it's a dead end, it looks like. Never a dull moment. At the ready. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do here. If I'm gonna head out, because I am not powerful enough for this place yet. I wonder if that's the head druid, that cave bear. Revealing a tunnel. Perhaps you can escape where he failed. Still blocked. It should be easy enough to clear. You think so? Still blocked. It should be easy enough to clear. Oh boy. You say those eyes. Again, do you want to become spider food? That's not quite where I thought I'd end up. Got relocked. What are they delaying for? Can't we 
just swarmed the forest. Drow wants to know exactly where those adventurers came from. What are they doing? Tell you, the scrying eye was looking at me all strange. Right. Eye. What would some crowd wizard in Moonrise want to look at you for? Certainly you won't be because of your beautiful eyes. Sorry, what do they need to be looking at any of us for? Is what I'm saying. From the guard. Who are we going to set the true soul of who they are? Mercenaries made What he sees, Lopan knows. with my prey and massacred the rest ah oh. well the fear about that is they sort of massacred us but this mug helped me to escape i say we stick a few holes in him show how grateful we are you feel a cold hand caress your mind as the drow appraises you mm, madam your prisoner is one of the absolute's favorites saza a true soul. Nah, a combi. They was in the grove, banging around with the tieflings. Undercover, no doubt. Carrying out the Absolute's will. Oh, Saza, you have made a grave error. And it will be your last. My spiders are hungry, little one. But before they feast, tell me where that grove is. And I may yet spare your life. It's past the bridge, to the east. Big old gate covered in ivy. Don't hurt me, mistress, please. I will not hurt you. My spiders will have that pleasure. No, I'm mucked up, I'm sorry. But I didn't know who they was. They didn't tell me nothing. I'm gonna keep quiet. You could have told me who you was. Somebody help! Through sheer luck, that pathetic worm has brought me the information I need. And it seems that the inhabitants of the grove trust you. We can use that against them. You have a part to play in this slaughter. Return to the grove. When my raiding party approaches, throw open the gate and signal me. The fate of the grove's inhabitants hangs in the balance. Killing the drow here would spare them, but it might be better to face her warband at the grove itself on familiar ground. On the other hand, participating in the slaughter as she asks may be the perfect way to earn her trust and access to the cult's inner circle. Oh boy, I can't take her. That's the problem. I just can't take her. She's level six. And she's surrounded.
Okay. Not sure exactly how to start this. I'm surrounded as it is. And I'm fucked. And she's really hard to hit, too. Shit. I can't win this. Nope, I'm gonna take the smarter action and just uh, lie my way out of it. I tell you, the scrying eye was looking at me all strange. Right, what would some drow wizard in Moonrise want to look at you for? The scrying eye, best not to do anything so suspicious while the torture. Because he a beautiful eye is the only thing they're good at. Sorry to bother you, mistress. Got a message from the guards. Yes. We got visitors. Don't know who they are. Mercenaries, maybe? Interesting. I wasn't expecting guests. Bloody hell! What? Leave me alone! Mistress! Is me. I'm. Uh, you f. Oh. No! And. Uh, and. But. It's pop. I. No! I'm up up! I'm sorry! You could have told me who you was! You. Return to the fate of the Grey. Killing the dragon. On the other hand, participating in the slaughter as she asks. May be the perfect way to earn her trust. Good. Marshalling the goblins is no simple matter, but my warband will be ready to attack by next light. Once we are in position, we will wait for your signal, and then we will break them all. Come on, mate. It is yes, time wish, to yeah. feed the queen. We won't let you down. Now with a little scrying eye is just peering at me. Everything it sees, Lopan knows. Fun 
money our life turns out in it. <laughs> Sparta. What the hell is this? This is going to turn into a fight. This place is amazingly tough. Study the corpse. Was this the mind flayer that tortured you? This mind flayer's build is smaller, its garb plainer. A fearsome creature, even in death, but not the one that tormented you. Yet it too roamed the Nautiloid. It would have seen you, known you. Absolute says the dead Squiddy had a weapon. I reckon the killer nabbed it and scooted off to that looter camp. We find who killed it, and we find who took that weapon. So settle in. You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. The weapon the Absolute seeks. It's the artifact that she carries. The same one that protected you as you entered the goblin camp. Her mind focuses. Their suspicion cannot be aroused. They cannot discover that the weapon they seek is within their grasp. I know this magic. Hand me the scroll and I can do the talking. Then take it. Absolute knows I'm not getting anywhere. You read aloud the words on the scroll. Klaatu! Barata! <laughs> His corpse rises, tentacles writhing. Attack the hobgoblin. He's probably even tougher than the drow. The creature responds, not in words, but memories. You see a clawed hand open a holding pod, devoid of flesh. Only darkness. Damn it. I saw it too. And it tells me nothing. Who is the absolute? Ragslin frowns at a question he would never have asked. Then the creature speaks in visions. Curved drow blades, crude goblin torches, null teeth dripping blood. You see other mind flayers arranged in a serene circle. Absolute unity. Absolute power. You're kidding me. 
Very helpful, Squid. Suspicion floods Raxlin's mind. Your brain howls as you consider your final question. What was the killer after? Visions consume you once more. A swarm of Githyanki dragon riders, silver blades held high. Control panels melting, flesh pods spilled open. Kithan. Wait! Ragslin pierces your mind, prodding for truth. You, you're no true soul. It's a mistake. I'm a true soul, remember? We connected. No, he's not higher level than the drow, but he does have more hit points. Where do all these ladders go? Go up. True soul Minthara has much patience left. Their city will be raised to the ground, and they'll know she is absolute. Better not be cursed. We'll see. is ever bleeding axe. Praise his throne of flaming iron. Praise McGloviet. You know McGloviet, a tyrannical deity who treats his goblinoid followers as slaves. Trying to interrupt my prayers? Scared of a real god? You're as 
this is the rest of them. How'd you land yourself in that cage? Because I'm loyal to McLoviet. Because I ain't having my head turned by some upstart god. I assume you mean the absolute. Yeah. My old tribe's fallen for this shite. Traitorous bastards. The great absolute brings us together. Drow and gnolls and goblins all braid in one another's air. It's a load of sight. I'll tell you, it is really impressive that all of this is voiced. I mean all of it. That is just incredible, and I love it. Talking to you, ain't I? I just don't believe in all this togetherness and chumminess. Ain't natural. It won't last. They'll be tearing into each other soon enough. Sodom all. I'll wait it out in air, praying to a real god. This map is massive. Up, oh, they're all loaded for war. And half of them run the wrong way. Alright, I'm going to take a break here because I'm not sure what I want to do. Um, if I want to try and save the head druid or or, or what. Um, if I want to... I'm not even sure I want to keep going the way I'm going here. Um, I've committed to a course of action that's Pretty. I don't want to say. I'm not sure what the word I'm looking for is. But I'm I'm dedicated to a course of action here. I'm not sure I like. So I'm gonna stop here and think about it for a while. Besides, it's a good time to take a break. The reason I came here was to save the head druid. Uh, that was the whole mission. And I've kind of forgotten that part of the mission here because I'm not sure where else to look. Uh, I think the head druid might be that bear that, that I was going to try to save earlier. Um, so what I might do is I might go back and try to complete that part of the quest. Even though I got my ass kicked the first time, I think if I try again, I might be able to get some better results. But, uh, I think that's a discussion for next time. So, uh, thank you all for coming, and I'll see you next time.